of Earth mining, science fiction or not? We have an old mining proverb saying that, where she be, there she be. If there are valuable minerals to be mined, humans will go in crowd, no matter fighting with extreme conditions or excessive risks. But, oops. But the motivation of off-earth mining is quite clear. The abundance of valuable resources that we can, uh, that we need to, uh, we need for our technologically driven society, and also colonization. We are passionate and also sometimes need uh, necessity for finding new places. But also, achieving these operations, these missions, will create a lot of spin-off technologies which we can use to improve our ter terrestrial operations. In our solar system, we have some potential of Earth mining target bodies. Asteroids, comets, the Moon, and Mars. And they have metals, rare earth minerals, some useful gases, ice, and water. Between Mars and Jupiter, we have around 10 million asteroids which have these resources. Plus, we have planets in our solar systems. However, space's first agreed commodity is water. Water is vital for our life, life support. But also, we can use the water electrolysis and separate hydrogen and oxygen used for rocket fuel to go beyond. Then the question is, how much would you pay for a kilogram of water in space? Okay, press it again. United Launch Alliances, US-based satellite launching company, which disappeared here, anyway. They said that they can pay $3,000 per kilogram of water delivered in space. Is this real business or science fiction now? Once we talk about off-earth mining, I'm sure everyone is imagining about Avatar movie or Armageddon movies. That's the typical question I got. I don't blame you guys, because launching cost is, was extremely expensive. It was around $20,000 per kilogram until 2017. But SpaceX reduced that to $2,000 per kilogram. They further said that they will reduce the $100 per kilogram by 2020. Now I'm asking again, is this a real market? Can you see that? What we do at UNSW, we have 12 PhDs right now. These PhDs work on reducing risk of potential investments. We do collaboration with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Kennedy Space Center, European Space Agency, and very well-known universities. We develop software packages currently used for NASA, in NASA, for uh, potential scenarios. So, we all agree that next giant leap of human being in space is colonization. What I'm saying that this cannot be done achieving of earth mining operations. So research is needed. We're looking for collaborators in universities, research organizations, governments, as well as investors and companies. Thank you.